Hello, my name is Laura Ney. I'm the president of Bright Eyes Enterprise Incorporated. We distribute the Music to My Ears hearing screening kit. Music to My Ears is specifically designed to detect or to screen for mild to moderate hearing loss in infants, toddlers, and children. The wonderful thing about Music to My Ears is very easy to use, very simple, and it serves as an excellent screening tool to be taken out in the field to screen migrant children, new infants just brought home from the hospital, um, or any toddler or preschooler that has not entered into the school environment yet. Music to My Ears is made up of four sound makers, two of which are low frequency, two of which are high frequency. They are between 35 and 45 decibels, which is the standard legend for determining mild to moderate hearing loss in small children. It also has a startler horn for the very small or the newborn. We screen the toddler or the small child by first diverting their attention with a diversion ball. Nothing new, you can use a, a toy or anything of the such but the diversion ball is actually used to track their vision or hold it in front of them so that they're distracted while the um, professional actually tests for the hearing. Now the two low frequency instruments are actually percussion instruments that we use for a variety of low frequency sound. This is the Chiquita, which is a small maraca. It has a very light sand sound, and that's uh, demonstrated or it's presented on the ear out 18 to 36 inches from the ear and then given a couple of quick shakes, and then we wait and observe for the child to locate on that sound if they can. If they do, it's a pass. If there's question about how they locate on the sound, um, then it could be considered that they did not respond according to the, um, the legend. The cricket is, a, is another percussion instrument. There's steel balls that come down and wrap against the steel plate. However, we've, here at Bright Eyes Enterprise, we've modified the steel ball by adding a piece of felt, which muffles the wrapping of the sound of the steel balls coming down on the plate. And the reason we do this is to give us a 200 frequency um, cycle for our frequency spectrum um, and also a low decibel or 35 to 45 decibel. Um, this, the cricket actually is used um, to determine a baseline or to give you a baseline starting point. The two high frequency instruments one is a brass bell from India with a specific dinger tied so that it is about 5200 hertz per second, cycles per second. And what we want is a high frequency so that we can test for whether the mild to moderate hearing loss is actually more sensitive or less sensitive to a real high frequency or a lower frequency like the tripod. The tripod is actually um, just a squeak toy, but it has a softer whistle, kind of a whistling, whispering sound. And you don't want it too loud because what you're really testing for is can they hear sounds like the blowing of wind, a whoo sound, W's, the TH sound. So you really want to test for with something that gives you a whistle sound. So the tripod is actually just a squeak toy that um, we use for high frequency as well as the bell. The startler instrument is just a very simple bike horn that you get. You can really pick up anywhere, but the reason we have it in the hearing screening kit is because for small children and infants, they need to be startled for you to observe what type of reaction that they have. So this is a 72, around 69 to 72 decibels, very loud. 
but it serves as a startler sound so that you can observe the small child that's not used to um, locating on a, a sound that's presented.